Well, you know, when you have a large army, a large army, and I look back, I look, I, I look back at, at history on, on large army. To, to deal with large army, man, you have to have a lot of discipline, brother. A lot of discipline. And, and it have to be, it have to be to the point to where. There's no bias, man. Nobody gets a break in this. If you, if you, it, 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 I hate to say this, man. That's why uh, uh, Sanika Shakur said that uh, the South Siders had, had a tight army because of their discipline. If you violate anything, your head is going to roll. And that's the only way you're going to be successful with a large army. They have to know that there's consequences. If they feel there's no consequences, guess what? Hey, it's going to be chaos. So if my homeboy is fighting against the different lanes and I sit there and watch without saying nothing, I'm responsible as original to put my two cents in for the simple fact because I have that rank and I have that authority of original to speak on it. And you may, they may not come to agreement on what I'm saying, but at least uh, it's our duty to uh, speak positive. But you have some people that they don't want to get involved because when the killing started happening, man, bullets don't have no names. But uh, I had went to different neighborhoods uh, at one time to try to solve problems because uh, communication is the key, my brother. Once you start communicating, when you stop that, hey, uh, <laughs> people have think tanks. And when they start thinking, my brother, you know, they start thinking about how they're going to get their revenge on you. But somebody have to be uh, man enough to, to, to what you call apologize or to ask for forgiveness or to, to say, well, let's deal with this on the head up fade. But you have individuals, man, also that they can't fight head up. They have to run and go get a gun every time. You know, they have to always be killing somebody over a female or killing somebody over a dice game. You know, uh, instead of letting it go, they let their temper uh, overrule their mentality. And when you don't check your homeboys, man, hey, hey, a big war can start like that. Okay, so my last question on this particular topic is, do you think are you, you will get some pushback on people saying that maybe the blood car didn't quite start the way you're saying in YTS with the bounty hunters and the pyros? Are there other versions that you expect people to to challenge you with in terms of that history? I only I only need one challenge, my brother, and my one challenge is facts. And the facts is this: you show me a red bandana, a red flag that your neighborhood is holding, and you tell me what year it is, and then we'll go from there. That's the only way you can find out. All the original bloods, all those who was there in the seventies, do your research, find out how old your red flag is, and then we'll take it from there. But I doubt it, you know what I'm saying, for the simple fact, you know what I'm saying, every time I went to prison or go to jail, there's always some new, something cranking up. Everybody always crank up something, just like what AC and them did. They cranked that up, you know. Then when you go to Folsom, they cranked up the, the UBN bloods. Then you go to San Quentin, they cranked up uh, the bloodline bloods. Then if you went to Tracy, they cranked up the family bloods, you know. So, you know, it's always in jail that the unity come about. So that, that don't stop, it's, it's, you know, because on the streets, like AC said, you know, hey, when, when you from your own neighborhood, that's what you claim, just your neighborhood. And the only reason why they claim blood, because they did not have no choice but to claim blood as one under one flag, which is the Pyru bandana. All right, well, well, we'll wait to see if there's anyone that has anything to say uh, regarding that history. Uh, I, I think you might get a little pushback from the villains. I spoke to some of the villains, and although I haven't seen any evidence except for their stories, is that they said, they're one of the first blood sets because they have the word blood in their name, <laughs> Bloodstone Villain. Um, but 
But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I have I haven't been able to get a first generation villain on camera. Michael Bowie, who's resting in peace, would have been the perfect interview. So who were they bleeding with? All the for you to be a blood, you have to have somebody to be a blood with you. So who was their their blood partners? Yeah. That that's the key right there. Who were their blood partners? Was Pueblos and them bloods together? Because the body hunters and power were bloods together. That's what we claim it. Yeah, we're bloods together. No, the Pueblos didn't put the B on it. They didn't okay, put the then. blood on it until a little bit like until the late seventies, seventy eight maybe, seventy. Blood is unity. Yeah. So if blood is not individuality. Blood is unity. The word blood is unity. So, 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 what did you unify with? Well, you know what? I'm going to talk to uh, Stutterbox about that. Who did you unify Stutterbox with? Stutterbox would, would know. In fact, Stutterbox is going to watch this interview and he's going to have some things to say, so I can't wait to get him on camera. Thanks for watching StreetTV.net. If you're not subscribed, please hit that button below and click the bell to receive alerts and notifications. Feel free to comment below so you can give us your feedback and be sure to watch the two related episodes to the right. If you want to support this platform or follow us on social media, visit the links in the description and thanks for watching StreetTV.net.